What's up, guys? Dragon Black here. So, I've been told to look more at my camera, but my good buddy, Bolt Bucket, says it's annoying when I look at myself. It's really hard not to do. Um, I hope you guys can hear me fine. I I've got my fan turned on. B because it's Texas, and it it's like 185 degrees outside. A child just went running by on fire. I, I think he was just outside for too long. Uh, yeah, so we're back at the transmission today, or the crankcase cover for the transmission. Transmission cover, huh? I don't even know what the hell it's called. So I would like to do a little caveat here in the beginning before we get into shit. I'm not trained by any means to be a mechanic. <laughs> I've just been turning wrenches since I was like eight years old. So in my family, you talked about God or cars, and cars was always more appealing to me. And so I've been helping my mother and my grandfather do stuff since I was a child. So I figured I got into motorcycles. I figured I had no car engines. This is a smaller version of it, right? It did kind of, it still works pretty much the same. So take this as a, you can get into motorcycling for fairly cheap. If you know how to turn a wrench, don't buy somebody's friggin' project. The only reason I have a project is because it was given to me, and that's what we're working on today. It's the return of the XR. Yeah. So, did figure out a few things. We'll get into it. <laughs> First things first, said I had to figure out what this thing goes to. <laughs> After much piddling around, see if we can get this to focus in here. And I guess we're gonna go to the other side. Ugh. Let's rearrange stuff. Not a professional. Not even at this crap. I'm terrible at YouTube. That's that's not what you want to be looking at. No, not at all. So It is actually part of the oil sump system. So, it's a hollow bolt, it's pushed in, and it feeds oil into here, or oil, yeah, into here, and I don't, I don't really know where it goes from there. I don't know if it's like an overflow reservoir system or whatever, but hey. We're figuring it out, right? <laughs> so, there's that. And then, I was thinking there was a pin that locked the actuator. If I can figure out where my camera is. There. The actuator in the place. There's not. This piece was missing the bolt from the outside, number one. We had to fix the threads and all that good noise. This actually goes on here and goes under that spring. So, can't make a video without my daughter walking outside and screaming something. So that goes under here, top of the rocker arm, and this here and I can't find the hole story of my life and it all goes together and still didn't do it right we have a clutch again just gotta get this tightened down and then once this is pushed against here, try that again. Once this is pushed against here, it'll hold itself in place. So this. is your clutch. Simple, simple mechanism. So, let's get it put back together, shall we? 
that on there. Enough threads on the back side. Now we'll get that tightened down. Of course it's a 10 millimeter. Why wouldn't it be a 10 millimeter? Oh. And yes, we all know the joke of the lost 10 millimeter. My brother was telling me the other day, uh, the uh, snap-on truck came through his uh, work and dropped the 10 millimeter. You can go ahead and leave all the 10 millimeter jokes in the uh, comments below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. But a snap on truck came through and they actually sell an entire tool set, an entire socket set of nothing but different depths a different drive head 10 millimeters that's all it is a bunch of 10 millimeters that shit's hilarious Something about that is not right. That's not supposed to be there. I fucked up something. <laughs> so, let's take this back off. You know what? You guys already watched me do the mess up. This takes a second to pull free, so give me a minute. Okay, that was way easier. What are we doing? Look, the messenger can't send you something. Huh? You're on camera being a weirdo. Weirdo. They have to be a part of this. I can't get away from them. Ever. Ever. <laughs> okay, so it literally was just pull the arm out. I guess when Les put this back together, You put it in backwards. And I went and did that. Of course I would. I think I put it back together backwards.
Yeah, I told you guys, I'd film my mess ups too. I am not perfect by any means. Ask my wife. I'm going to take it by the fact that the crankcase is moving. Yeah, I can hear it actuating. Ugh. We have a clutch again. Yay! Anybody that's a uh, Monty Python fan? And the villagers rejoice. Yay! Oh, God. Camper stand went limp. It's a story of my life. For any of y'all that live in Texas, or just flies are bad in the summer where you are at, I think mine might be worse. I, I think I need a young priest and an old priest. It, it's bad. I know. It's two different movies. Meville and like, it's still a funny joke, damn it. Okay. Ooh, Caleb, you're here. Can you give me my Bosch set? You want to be on the YouTubes, you're going to help, damn it. Oh, there's no watching in life. Okay. Do any of you remember which bolt went in what hole? Because I don't. Let's figure this out. So I got some plans for this when I'm all done with it. It's, shh, it's a secret. And I might do one of those. If I get this many followers, I'll reveal the bike when I'm done. Because like I said, this is going to be a what my bank account will allow kind of build. So. Allow guests to some short bolts. Go here. Yeah, I know, dead space. I know. Sue me. No, don't sue me. I don't, I don't have any money. Uh, and I know. I took it apart with an impact. I wanted to put it back together with the impact. But the impact got left at my brother's house. So, I have this to do with.
You don't want to tighten this crap down as you go. You know what? Let's do the whole pause. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to put a friggin' bolt in a hole, right? That, I'm not even recording me doing this and staring at my face. We'll figure out how to edit that in a minute. <clears throat> okay. So normally, I would lock... Okay. So normally, I would lock tight these as I put them in. But I, I might have to take them back out. So what's the point in wasting that Loctite right now when I can just stick them in? So, they're in, they're tight. Clutch pulls, clutch returns. Ugh. Let's give it a dry run, Let's see if it works. And then we'll explain everything else I'm gonna do to this just to get it right. Okay, we got the Kickstarter back on it. Let's uh, see if it starts and see if this clutch works. I don't even know if I'm allowed to smoke on YouTube, am I? I see people smoke on YouTube, buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna ask my son to be the cameraman and I'll show him what to point at. See how well this works, huh? All right, guys. So, who wants to take an over under on how many kicks it's going to take? All right. I know it's loud. Let's see if this works. Damn. Let's clutch. I just got to adjust it a little bit, but the clutch works. So I got to wait to get a tire on it so I can really feel where it's at and all that good noise. Yeah, awesome. I go ahead and stop. I got to figure out how to do a little like mm, and come back thing, right? Be like more like John Maxwell. Uh, so eventually, or I got to get my light out of the way. So, this bike is going to need fork sill rebuild, full shocks, everything inside. I don't know how bad the rear one is, but the front ones are, eh, they're pretty much fucking shot. It's going to need new seals, springs, all that good noise. Uh, it's going to need new front brake uh, cable for sure. It's going to need brake pads. Obviously a rear wheel, a chain, a front sprocket. I have the rear sprocket, but I don't have the stuff for the rear brakes. So I'm probably either gonna have to figure out where those are or order new ones. So, this, like I said, as I get the money to fix this, we'll make videos. So this will be a process. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Comments, like, subscribe, share, all that good noise. Let's see where this goes. You guys ride safe.